All right, everyone, check this out. Right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demonstrate to you guys what a proper bent over roll looks like, single arm dumbbell roll. Um, a lot of people do this wrong because they're focused on the wrong particular movements when they're doing this exercise. So I'm gonna demonstrate to you at first what the wrong way to do it is, and then I'm gonna go back and I'm going to demonstrate to you exactly what the right way is as well. So pay attention real closely because this might be something that you might be committing here in the gym and we're gonna correct that today, all right? So when you see people in the gym doing this bent over row, whether it be here or with one knee on a bench, a lot of times you'll see them spending a lot of time bending and just yanking. And right here, what you're doing is, is you're actually doing more of an arm exercise. And that's not what you're looking for because a bent over row or a dumbbell row is actually meant to develop your back, to de develop those rhomboids and those um, external, and in, in, no, actually there's more external rotators in the back. So the proper way to do it is you're still in the same position, but now, as in this position, you drive back. But the funny thing is, is that instead of bringing it up like this, you bring it back like this. And then you just keep that position and just keep driving. So you're now forcing to squeeze the shoulder blades together rather than just pulling with your arms, which is bicep development. So those very small little nuances where you're focused on driving with your elbow instead of pulling with your hands and also making sure that you drive your elbows low and keep your shoulders down are two very important movements when doing a dumb, uh, dumbbell row. Because without it, it's only just more so a bicep and forearm exercise. All right, don't forget to click share and like my video. Have a nice day, be the best you.